This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Warren County deputies are searching for an escaped inmate. It is 29 year old Derek Volts. He's currently wanted by law enforcement. He disappeared just before 11 Friday night as he was being taken to a local hospital. He was last seen on State Route 63 walking toward Monroe wearing a yellow shirt with a black undershirt and khaki pants. If you see him or know where he is, call the Warren County Sheriff's Office. The number is 513-695-2525. The Hamilton Township community has said goodbye to Emery Shandorf Wood. The four-year-old was laid to rest Saturday in Mainville after a public visitation at Fellowship Baptist Church. Her body was found last Sunday in her neighborhood pond after an hours long search. Ohio Task Force One is in Louisiana right now, along with Indiana Task Force One, as Hurricane Ida barrels toward the Gulf Coast. 45 members of the Indiana team left Friday night. Both those teams will help with search and rescue efforts and water rescue after the storm. Hamilton's West Side Little League team plays Michigan in the Little League World Series Championship today. They beat the Sioux Falls team Saturday 5-2, winning the Tom Seaver Bracket Championship, advancing to the title game. Hamilton showed its pride in its home team with multiple watch parties all over town. They're going to do it again Sunday. You can watch them go for the title on WCPO 9, Sunday at 3 o'clock. Sherry, it is hot here at home. Yeah, it's going to be a hot Sunday as well. We start the day with some patchy fog out there. We could see a slight chance early of a shower or storm, but now it is looking more like it will be the heating of the afternoon. And right now it doesn't look like we're going to see a whole lot because the front to the north is going to take its time to get here. So much of the rain that we see will be on Monday, but we could see a shower or storm during the day Sunday as those temperatures heat up. We're talking starting out in the lower and mid 70s, heading to 87 by noon. 91 by 4 p.m. with an isolated chance of a shower storm, but feeling closer to 100.